Hi there, this is Joe. The fiber optic cable provides a long distance, high speed, and low latency network connectivity. However, it's quite difficult to deal with the fiber optic connector without a special tool. It's simply the line transmitting in the fiber optic cable. So the connection has to be precisely, otherwise the signal could be deformed. Even the just single dust stand between the two connectors, it's going to make the lighting beam divide. So making the fiber optic terminal could be time consuming in the field, especially when we need to figure out what's going on in the connection. The solution we come up with, the pre, come up with is the pre-terminal fiber optic cable. The cable is pre-built in the factory and test before we shoot. So we just need to plug and plate this it eliminates the trouble to making the fiber optic connector in the field. Now let's take a close look at the fiber optic cable. This is the 100 meter pre-terminal fiber optic cable. The cable can be deployed outdoor, indoor. However, if you just want to bury the cable, it's better to get the pipe to protect the cable. This is the pulling eye. So it's allow us to pull the cable in the field. And in, after we deploy the cable, we need to remove this nylon mass to see the see the cable inside first. Now let's just using the scissor to cut the nylon mass. This is the way how to remove the nylon mass, and we are going to cut from the inside. Now we are going to see the connector. Then we move the needle. Then we can see the connector is being protected by the shrink tube. When we pull the cable, it could sketch the connector. That's why we have add the extra shrink tube to protect the connector. Then we need to cut the shrink tube. Here we got the two LC connector. The two, there's two tapes indicate which cable we are using, one's A, the other's B. If single fiber optic cable is required, the extra one can work as backup or network extension for future. Here is the PTL. The PTL is protected by the ant with the PC screen. There's two purposes why we're using the armor to protect the PTL. Uh, as we know, the fiber optic cable is uh, pretty fragile. Uh, it's very easy to get broken. If if the PTL is broke, the cable becomes useless. So we will take, talk about another purpose for the armor protection for these PTLs. And you may ask one question: What if I need longer, longer rather than one hundred meter longer fiber optic cable? We got your cover. We got the one hundred, uh, three hundred, and five hundred meter distance pre terminal fiber optic cable. More importantly, we have this developed this fiber optic adapter, which allow us to join the two pre, pre make fiber optic cable together. This is the fiber optic adapter which can connect two fiber optic cable. So first, I'm going to get a second row of fiber optic cable. And we are going to use this adapter to join these two, cab two cables together. Now first we need to put the uh, one side, pass through the water cap. Also we need to pass the, the body. And now we do the same for the second cable.
and also the body So why we, when we join these two cables, it's, it's quite important to make sure you're joining the same cable. There's tape showing A and B. So the cable A, you need to join to cable A. Otherwise, you're going to mix match. And the B, Going to for the cable B on the other side. So we have joined the two cables together. Now we just need to come up. It's this is a little bit tricky. It's quite important we have fastened this body before we close the cap. I will tell you why. Now here is the waterproof block. You can pass the cable to the, through the hole. Now we block the hole to the same for the second cable. Now the last step is just close the cap. If you do it opposite, if you close the head first, then twist the body. It's going to twist your fiber optic cable. It may broke just broke the cable. All right. Now you close the two cap. The con conjoin is complete. And we have put the two cables together. Now we got 200 meter. And we still need to cut the, the other terminal because each of the pre terminal cables have two pulling eyes. So I'm going to do the same for the first one. and also the protector for the connector just in case when you're pulling the cable it may sketch the connector all right now we put we just pick one of the terminal there's a and b we're going to use a then connect to our transmitter and so we go to the receiver and so also for the A let's just wait for a while I think the camera is live now it's pretty fast alright, that's all Thanks for watching. If you have any question about the pre-terminal fiber optic cable, please leave us a comment below. Have a nice day.